The Ford Explorer is a sport utility vehicle manufactured by the American automaker Ford since 1990. It is one of the most popular sport utility vehicles on the road today. The Explorer was originally built as a mid-size crossover SUV but was changed into a full-size crossover category ever since 2011 and is now currently in its fifth generation. Today, I'm proudly to present to you the 2015 Ford Explorer Limited Edition in white platinum metallic. The Ford Explorer offers sitting for up to 7 passengers, which is spacious enough for the entire family. It has the most spacious interior if compared with other vehicles in its class. The Explorer is available in either front-wheel drive or full-time all-wheel drive. This is the front-wheel drive model you're looking at. The Ford Explorer comes with the full list of available features, some of which include intelligent access with push-button start, remote engine start, power lift gate, power adjustable pedal with memory, inflatable rear seat belt, rear view camera, blind spot detector, high intensity discharge headlamps, and LED tail lamps, premium leather trim seating, heated and cooled front seat, dual headrest DVD entertainment system, adaptive cruise control, active park assist, as well as many other features. Up front, the Explorer offers a very bold looking front end. The first thing you will notice up front is the pair of automatic projector high intensity discharge headlamp with integrated turn signal lamp. Headlamp comes with beautiful chrome accenting trims around it with Explorer lettering printed on the inside of the headlamp. At the bottom is the pair of halogen freeform fog light. And there is the Ford Explorer grill. A closer look at the grill with double chrome bar and Ford logo in the middle. Intermittent windshield wipers with adjustable speed. This particular model comes with 20 inch painted aluminum wheels with P255 50 BSW tires. Behind the wheel is the set of internally ventilated brake discs and the large brake caliber for better braking. Brake caliber are painted in silver. Side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal indicator with Explorer lettering on it. Here is a look to the top with dual aluminum roof rails. Rear wheels are also 20 inches. Behind the rear wheel is also the set of internally ventilated brake discs and the brake caliber painted in silver as well. It also comes with anti-lock braking system as well as tire monitoring system on all four tires. To the back, you see the full LED tail lamp with integrated LED brake lamp as well as turn signal lamp. Very unique tail lamp. At the bottom is the black rear diffuser with dual round chrome tip exhaust. Rear deflector and parking sensor are also built into the rear bumper. Rear view camera is located right above the license plate and will activate once the vehicle is in reverse. There is the roof spoiler with third LED brake light and to open the tailgate, just press the button located behind the uh, handle. Okay, here I have the remote with Ford logo on the back. On the remote, you have the remote engine start button, lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic button.
Now to start the engine remotely, you first have to press the lock button and press the engine start button twice to start and press it once again to stop. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. The car does come equipped with smart access key system, so with the key in your pocket, just press the black button on the door handle once to lock. After a few seconds, place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. The exterior color is known as white platinum metallic, featuring two-tone interior with light stone perforated leather seat with silver accenting trims and dark wood trims throughout. Beautiful looking interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So with your foot on the brake, push the start button to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2015 Ford Explorer Limited Edition have to offer. Under the hood is a 5.3 liter twin independent variable camshaft timing V6 engine with 6 speed select shift transmission, sequential multi port electronic fuel injection front wheel drive pushing out 290 horsepower and 255 pound feet of torque can hit from 0 to 60 in about 7 seconds and hit the quarter mile time in about 15 seconds top speed is electronically limited at 122 mile per hour in the US EPA estimated fuel economy is 17 city 24 highway and 20 combined now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior Here is a look at the driver's side door panel with black on the upper portion with silver accenting trims and dark wood trims on it. There's the lock and unlock button with three position memory setting. Side view mirror controlled and it does feature folded option. Both front windows are fully automatic. And there's the storage compartment with a cup holder. Ford Explorer aluminum door seal. And there's the pedals. And a closer look at the seat. Both front seats are perforated and does offer heated option. Driver seat feature 10-way power adjustable seat, including power lumbar support, and 6-way power adjustable for front passenger seat, including power lumbar support. The three-spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in leather, with silver accenting trims in the middle. Looks and feel really nice. Featuring multi-function control side-by-side -side for your convenience, with control for audio, voice command, cruise control, as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel on the left you have the turn signal light control. On the right you have the windshield wiper control. Steering wheel does feature heated options, 
and it does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column. And there's the automatic uh, retractable pedals. You can adjust it to your uh, height. And here is a look at the uh, instrument cluster with the large uh, status screen on the left. There you have the driver side air vent, the light controlled, fog light, and the instrument light controlled. There's the trunk release button and the parking brake. And here is a closer look at the dash. Now this particular model does come with the Sony audio system which feature 12 total speaker pushing out a total of 390 watts of beautifully balanced audio. Okay looking at the center stack you have the dual air vent on top and here's the uh, large multimedia touchscreen display. Very nice sound quality. Down here you have the multimedia control with the power button in the middle and dual climate control side by side. Here you have the storage compartment with USB auxiliary input and an SD card slot and a 12 volt power outlet. There's the dual cup holder. And here's the gear shift lever. Just press the unlock button and pull down for reverse. Once you're in reverse, the backup camera will appear on the multimedia screen with the guidance line to help with a much easier backup and pull down again for neutral, down again for drive. Pretty easy to use. Here you have the uh, center storage compartment with a, another 12 volt power outlet. Glove box compartment. And another look at the seat. Very nice upholstery material. On top you have the sunglasses holder. Light controlled. And a look at the rear view mirror. Sun visor mirror with integrated three uh, button universal garage door opener. Okay, here is a look at the second row seat. Second row offers seating for two, but there is an option where you can add the third uh, seating into the second row. And it does look like it uh, offers plenty of uh, leg room. And a look at the rear driver side door panel. Storage compartment on the door and a cup holder. Now let's get into the rear seat and see how it is in the back. But first let me show you the look to the front. Once again very spacious uh, cabin. Down here you have the uh, full climate control for the rear passenger 12 volt power outlet as well as a uh, 110 volt power AC dual cup holder. And a look to the top. There you have the light controlled on top and the air vent. Now I'm 5'8 and I still have plenty of leg room left. So for a taller individual, you still uh, be really comfortable in the back. Very well padded seat. And a look at the third row seat. 
let me get in the back and see I'll show you how much leg room I have left so this is how much leg room I have left now if you 5 8 and under you'll be really comfortable as well but for anyone that's taller than 5 8 uh, it is recommend to sit on the front or the second row seat now third row seat does have a storage compartment and cup holder here's a look to the back light control now let's pump the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer so the trunk in the Explorer offer 21 cubic feet of cargo space with all seats up which is decent for its class but remember you can always fold down the second row and third row seat for more cargo space and it is fully uh, power adjustable you can uh, just hit one button and the uh, third row seat will automatically fold down so with the third row seat folded down you get a total of 43.8 cubic feet of cargo space and you can always fold down the second row seat if you need more and that's when you get a total of 80.7 cubic feet of cargo space with both second and third row seat folded down but keep in mind you can always fold down the seat in uh, to many different configurations for your convenience there's the close button for the trunk and gas cap is located on the passenger side it is capless for easier fueling and holds approximately 18.6 gallons of fuel Overall, the 2015 Ford Explorer is a full-size crossover SUV with sitting for 6 passengers with an option of 7 passenger total. Second row seats offer plenty of space for even a taller than average person to be comfortable thanks to the spacious legroom and headroom. It could be a great vehicle for family with a lot of children. The front cabins are very spacious as well with great upholstery material, finished up nicely with beautiful silver accenting trims and dark wood trims throughout. And another look to the back. Now let's jump onto the uh, front passenger seat and see how it is in the front. Very comfortable. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the 2015 Ford Explorer Limited Edition. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And I'll see you guys next time.